Um, so welcome. My name is Ernest Wangatia. Trade uh, thirty two seventy seven stroke twenty. So I'm one of the trade students who attended the five day industrial visit at Kisumu. So uh, we left school on Sunday, 12th November 2023 for Kisumu. And then uh, we started our adventure on Monday, 13th. So considering Monday was a holiday, uh, we went for recreation at Dunga Beach and then we resumed the industrial visits on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, we visited Jumbo Steel Mills. So Jumbo Steel Mills was founded in 1990 and it started its operation in 2018. Uh, so um, Jumbo Steel Mills deals in uh, production of tanks and mattresses. So with uh, mattresses, the raw material is basically foam that is uh, cut into different sizes and uh, different densities and then some kind of polyester is used to cushion uh, the final product. And then for tanks, uh, they have uh, the raw material, it's some kind of polythene that is uh, heated and then uh, the heated material is poured into a mold and uh, allowed it to cool or heated according to whatever characteristics they want uh, the final products to have. So uh, the hardened material is cooled and then the mold is opened and it is removed. So uh, the final product has some tests done on it to show if uh, it meets the required qualities. So that is uh, Jumbo Steel Mills. It only does uh, the two products, tanks and mattresses. Uh, so um, we also visited KPC. KPC that is Kenya Pipeline Company, Kisumu branch. So uh, K KPC Kisumu uh, was commissioned in 2016. Uh, Kenya Pipeline Company basically deals in uh, transporting of petroleum products from Mombasa to the other parts of the country. So at KPC Kisumu station, uh, they receive petroleum products and then uh, they are, the petroleum store, uh, products are stored in storage tanks. Uh, there is also blending of petroleum, petroleum products. Then quality control is also done on those uh, petroleum products to, to check whether uh, they have any unwanted traces or anything. So uh, after quality control and all that stuff, uh, petroleum products are loaded on tankers and distributed to various places for sale. So that is Kenya Pipeline Company, Kisumu Station. Uh, so the third company we visited was uh, Skylark Construction Limited. So Skylar Construction Limited deals in uh, joinery work and carpentry. So things like timber framing work. So we were taken through um, uh, the process of manufacturing PVC pipes and various joinery works, timber works, carpentry works. Yeah, so that is it about uh, Skylark Construction Limited. So um, 
the fourth and final industry was kibos sugar so kibos sugar is a can production company that was incorporated in 1999 and commissioned commissioned in 2007 so the process of cane sugar production involves uh, raw cane going through a series of millers and then uh, chemical treatment is also done until uh, the final sugar is uh, obtained uh, so for all the industries the four industries that we attended uh, I observed various um, occupational safety and health measures put in place to ensure that workers and everyone in the farm uh, was protected from hazards and any harmful thing in the environment. So there are measures like PPEs personal protective equipment, uh, workers and PPEs, and then uh, there were safety inspections being done, emergency response plans, and some of the companies said employee tra training on safety measures. So those were the occupational safety and health measures put in place in all the four companies that we visited. Uh, and then uh, about uh, the role of ICT in the farms we visited, uh, I observed um, several applications of ICT in those farms, uh, basically automation, data management, the use of uh, sensors to monitor operations, and then the use of ICT in customer services. So that is all about the, the role of ICT in those farms. Uh, so to conclude, uh, let me thank the Department of Technology Education for organizing such an informative event for us. We really learned a lot, we had fun, so we gained important knowledge that uh, will help us to enhance our practical skills. So thank you.